My name is Virtue Irozindu. Welcome to another episode of Uncolored Remark on TAF TV, where we bring to you top trending gist and entertainment that you don't want to miss. So on today's episode of Uncolored Remark, we are going to be talking about a prophecy that was directed to Moses Bliss. You will love this one though. So stay tuned while we go on a quick break and we'll be right back. Welcome back. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more entertaining videos like this one. So like I always say, I'll be bringing premium, hot, entertaining gist, and I have brought one today. So can we remember the prophets that prophesied about Mr. Ibu's death? And Mr. Ibu died eventually. So he made another prophecy about Moses Bliss. He said that there's going to be an attack he didn't specify, he didn't say what kind of attack though, but he said that there's going to be an attack on Moses Bliss and another gospel singer, Mr. Revelation's wife. This was not the only prophecy he released though. He released a bunch of prophecies and, you know, it's to a group chat of GCC, the name of the church is Grace Confirmation Church. So it's like he drops the prophecy, you know, he, he numbers them and forwarded to the group chat. And this Moses Bliss prophecy's own was like number 37 of the prophecies that he made. So people are like, ah, that Moses Bliss should be careful, you know, that this man has been prophesying and things have been coming to pass and all of that. Well, me. The truth is these days, I don't know who is who. I don't know what's real and what's not. Because there are so many fake prophets so online that are parading themselves as men of God. We mean why they aren't. This same prophet was the same person that said that Davido was going to win Grammy. But at the end of the day, Davido did not win. <laughs> I know, I don't, I know, I'm not saying that there are no real prophecies. People get revelations. But the thing is, sometimes people don't even know how to interpret the revelation that they get. So it cannot always be accurate. This same prophet prophesied about Davido winning Grammy, but Davido ended up losing the Grammy. So I don't know. Sometimes some of these people do guesswork. They try to guess, you know, what's possible. And one thing I've come to understand about all these prophecy things is if someone should guess something about your life, if you believe it so much and key into it, do you know that there's a possibility of it happening? Yes, it may not be true, but because you believed it so much and then you put your whole mind there, it can happen. I know someone that they told that, I've heard of someone they told that she had HIV and she died eventually. At the end of the day, she did not have HIV, but what killed her was the thoughts, the constant thoughts of, oh, so I have this HIV. So it's very possible. And this, this was not the only prophecy he released. He released so many other prophecies. He said that some buildings will collapse in Enugu. He said that school fees will rise. He said that dollars will rise and all of that, that things are going to be hard in the country. And the truth is, this whole dollar rising and school fees thing increasing is actually very, very predictable. With the way things are going in the economy, with the way the country is going, you can tell that it's a very, very big possibility. So this one, I don't know if I'll call it a prophecy or a prediction. But every other thing he said, he said that there's going to be fire outbreak in, in, in Lagos, in Abuja, Igbo shops are going to get burnt and all of that. Well, I cannot say this prophecy is fake or I cannot say this prophecy is real low. My own is that if you receive any prophecy, what you prophesy upon your life is, is like your own prophecy. Your, the, our, if you're a Christian, you believe that there is power in the tongue. So whatever you prophesy, upon your life is sealed on earth and in heaven. So whatever prophecy you receive is a good one, you digest it. But if it's not a good one, what? You go into your prayer house and pray against it. So these are my thoughts, my dear viewers. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more entertaining videos like this one. Bye, and I'll see you in my next video.